San Jose Sharks, come on in! Hey! Uh. <laughs> Look at that shark. Look at your stick. That's your stick out there. Look at your shark head. And obviously, this is something that we're amazed to be a part of. Wade's going to tell you a little bit about what we got. 200 inches long, 48 inches wide, 48 inches tall. It's approximately 2,000 gallons. So building this tank was very difficult because you made multiple changes. So we made a custom aluminum stand so we can have the exact weight that was, was needed for this That's area. That's fantastic. At least we got one of the weight issues fixed. <laughs> but keep it up. Here, Chalky, take care of him. <laughs> we actually got a box of props that you sent us. You sent us the helmet. You sent us some sticks. You sent us some pucks as well. Yeah, so everything that you see in here is actually artificial, and it's been replicated by our fabricators. Yeah, they got the goalie mask too. Yeah, we got the goalie mask. So we Doug Murray's stick. Yeah. There you go, Doug. That's, That's right. That's where all my goals went. That's right. The shark head. Correct. There you go. You guys wanted the shark head, so we made it so you can see it from both sides. So when you're on this side, you can see the mouth open one way and open on the other side. So it's like the skaters are skating through, the fish are going to be swimming through. I think it looks fantastic. You got the red eye, that the colors. Tell them what you did with the teeth. Well, what we did is we actually took real teeth and measured it up, and we casted it to fit in there to make it soft so when the fish swim They won't get it, cut. Correct. We didn't have to hurt the fish. So we had to custom make those teeth oh, and wow. real teeth. Wow. That's amazing. Very creative. One of the most important things, obviously, is the sharks. Obviously, you guys being the sharks. So inside here, you have multiple species of sharks, one of them being a banded cat shark. These guys are night dwellers. They're going to come out at night. They're also very sensitive to light. So at nighttime, when the lights actually come down, that's when these guys will come out. You also have a horn shark in there. And in the wild, these guys, what they're famous for is catching their prey in low tides, not like you eating sandwiches up in the concession. I know you. In low tides, basically what happens is these, these sharks go out, they catch crustaceans in the low tides. Sometimes they get caught, but they actually use their fins to walk. So they can actually walk back on the sand from the sand into the ocean. I see, yeah. 